Hello, N4HNH here uh, with a very quick video. Just want to show you, uh, if you've watched some of my videos in the past, I wrestled with a strange noise um, and uh, very, very bad on the low bands, you know, 40 meters, 60 meters, 80 meters, 160. And um, it ended up being our washing machine. It's one of the newer ones. Um, and it has an uh, inverter drive and um, produces a ton of noise. I'm gonna, you can see it on the scope up there when it starts up. Watch. It, it, it's, uh, you know, it sometimes runs, sometimes not during the wash cycle. There you go. You see it now that now it stopped. So, you know, wrestling with strange noises these days, ham radio, <laughs> as good as our receivers have gotten, um, well, there's just that much more out there for us to contend with um, to try to to try to have fun with our radio. Now, when you you know when you're talking to people with strong signals like these, and I've got IPO turned on, uh, it's no problem. But when you're trying to pull out really weak signals like I do, chasing uh, QRP stations, this can be problematic. But uh, but I you know I want to show you the effectiveness of of a mu tuner. I've, you know, I've done a few videos about the Mutuner before, but I want you to see what it'll do to that noise. Now, it doesn't knock it completely out, but with that wide band noise like that, you can actually see the effectiveness of the Mutuner. I'm, I'm going to kick, uh, well, when it starts up again, I'm going to turn on the Mutuner. There we go, watch. So that's the Mutuner, which is a pre-selector, and it is, um, now the noise is gone. There you go, see it's back. But without the mu tuner, man, it's just consuming the band. And uh, but that gives you an opportunity to kind of see the width of the mu tuner, or should I, I really should say how narrow it is. Um, so no mu tuner right now, but the noise is not there. But you you can see what the mu tuner is doing is narrowing your band pass. And the way the mu tuner works is it's ahead of the of the fixed band pass filter in the radio. So the radio's got a fixed band pass filter. But the mu tuner um, is, you know, let's put it this way: it's it's much more narrow than the fixed band pass filter. Of course, it can move too. I'm I'm going to engage it, and when the noise comes back, I'll show you. Um, I mean, just showing you, the, the mu tuner can help um, when you're combating this noise like this. Well, maybe the washer has finally finished. Let's see gets to be a real pain. Fortunately, the filtering, the DSP in this radio, there it is back, the filtering in this radio is good enough that I can, I can actually pull out those uh, CW QRP stations um, by uh, utilizing the uh, capabilities of the, uh, of the radio's DSP. I'm going to let you hear what that noise sounds like. See, it's in it's in segments, so I, that QSO I was listening to happens to fall in between the noise. Isn't that crazy? And that's a washing machine doing that. At first, when I heard that noise, I thought my neighbor was building something using a, a circular saw, because he was uh, working in his garage. I'm glad I didn't go accuse him of anything. So. So, see, the QSO happens to fall in between where that noise is. All right, let's see. Let's start up again. I'm going to show you the sweep, what I call the sweep. Ask my friend Jack, W4TWX. He runs a good... Um, rag chew session really it's not a net they're on in the mornings and sometimes in the afternoon okay there we go noise is there I'm kicking in the mu tuner see look you can see how the, how narrow that mu tuner is I'm moving up and down the band with it and of course you know if you've watched some of my previous videos I'm not going to detail it here but you know what I'll do sometimes is I'll move the center point of the mu tuner 
away from where the, the fr away from the frequency I'm listening to, and put what I'm trying to receive. Put that station down into the skirt of the mu tuner. And um, and by the way, if you don't have a mu tuner, you can you'll get VRF. It's a, it's the same sort of thing, um, just not as narrow as a mu tuner. Um, but anyway, it's a great. A great addition to your radio. They're compatible with the FT2000s, the, I believe, maybe even the FT950. Of course, the 5000 here. Um, and it, they're, um, oh, the FT3000D can use a MuTuner. And the 9000 uh, comes with MuTuners built in. And there's my, there's the MuTuner for 40, 60, and 80 meters. So that's the one I'm using right now. And uh, there's another one over there in the dark on another table. Um, they're daisy chained, is, is how they work. Um, okay, so I'm going to temporarily disable uh, the mu tuner. And um, so it'll use VRF so you can see the difference. Uh, let's see, where are you? I don't have this, I don't have that one memorized where it's located. I'm going to guess 43. Oh, that is it. Okay, so um, show you over here where I am in the menu. So 43 mu tuner dial steps one, two, which is fine and coarse, and off. Okay, so um, this fine and coarse as far as the segments, it's a uh, stepper motor in there. You know, as it rotates. Um, the uh, so that's off. Now I'm gonna save and see. It says VRF. VRF instead of mu tuner. Now let me pan back over here where you can see the screen. That's a pre-selector that comes in in the radio, which is kind of cool. Not many radios have a pre-selector built in. They have a bandpass filter, but not a not a narrow or a pre-selector. Okay, so uh, let me let the noise. There's the noise back. Now you see there's the VRF. Uh, oh, let me get it. Let me get it centered. So you can even see the VRF is not bad, um, but okay. So no VRF. We'll wait till the noise comes back. Um, and then I'll then I'll re-engage the mu tuner so you can see the difference. Very effective these things, you know, at, at combating noise. Okay, the noise is back. Here we go, VRF. Now, pay attention to how wide that is with VRF. And now I'm going to go back in and turn the mu tuner back on. All right, and then now look how narrow it is with the mu tuner. So, see the noise? Mu tuner. All right, now I'll go back in. Turn off the mu tuner. You see it right there, toggling back and forth. There's mu tuner, VRF, mu tuner, VRF. Uh, according to Yesu, the mu tuner is about a third as wide as the VRF. So, in other words, that's a good thing. It's um, one third the, the the width of the VRF, and the VRF, of course, is not bad. I mean, you can see it's clearly tapering off within the band. So if you got out of band interference, I mean, it's definitely going to take care of it. Okay, so back to mu tuner, VRF, mu tuner. And let me get out. And no pre-selector at all. Big difference. Okay, um, just wanted you to see that. In, uh, you know, with that noise, and if you happen, happen to experience a strange noise that sounds like a saw uh, and is uh, coming and going, well, these newer um, washing machines, digital washing machines, in this case, it's an Electrolux, but it's a great washing machine, but uh, this newer technology, you know, these things are, it's, it's, this thing is computer driven and uh, inverter drive, and they just are, they wreak havoc on the, on the uh, uh, radio spectrum there. All right, um, hope you enjoyed the video. 73 from N4 H&H. &H.